Hey guys, today we're going to be playing with the new Byredo makeup. I purchased seven things in total, some of the lipsticks, some of the universal sticks, and the mascara. So we're going to be swatching and applying as much of it on my face as possible because the universal sticks can be used in different places, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. But more importantly, what I wanted to mention is that I am doing this in collaboration with three other YouTubers, three of my very favorite YouTubers. These ladies talk about luxury beauty, love luxury beauty as much as I do, and they talk about a whole slew of other things, but they are some of my favorite luxury beauty channels. The first is Vicky J, and she is the one that kind of brought us all together. I love her channel she is so wonderful and if you guys tune into her channel just like close your eyes and listen to her voice it is so soothing and i know many of you say that about my voice which is so lovely to hear but her voice oh my god it's like butter so definitely check out vicky j and of course i'll have everyone's uh information and links down below in my description box um the next is mo makeup mo beauty she is just gorgeous. I started watching her because I saw one of her thumbnails and I was like, who is this? She is just stunning. And from the first video on, I have been completely hooked, but she just does the most beautiful looks. So most recently she did um, a video on the new Tom Ford Soleil Nudge products, the quad and the balm. You guys have to check it out. It looks beautiful on her. I love the quad and I love the look that I came up with, but I'm going to have to follow what she did because it was stunning, absolutely stunning. And she, just like Vicky J, she has this really just chill, calm vibe. I absolutely love that about their channels. They just, oh, they just put me in such a like relaxed state. I love them both so much. And finally, finally, Kelsey Brianna J. She is someone that I've collabed with now <laughs> like three, twice, four times. Anyway, I've collabed with her a bunch of times. Uh, I Marco Polo with her daily now, and she's just such a gem. I absolutely love Kelsey, and she covers a lot of luxury beauty, like I mentioned, but she also does like high end and indie. She really does it all, and she is so, so knowledgeable. She is a trained makeup artist. She is just great. All the looks that she comes up with are pieces of art, so I cannot wait to see what all of these ladies do with this very, very interesting uh, new makeup line from Byredo. So I just received this box. I I haven't even opened it up, which I know is a dangerous thing. I, I didn't get any powder products, so I figured, oh, nothing should be broken or anything like that. So I wanted to unbox it with you guys. Isn't this such a beautiful gift box? And I've been such a fan of Byredo for the past two or three years. Um, they are a perfume line and I have their, I actually have it on today. I have their pulp fragrance and I love it. It's like fruity, it's citrusy, it's floral, it's like a little bit spicy. And biradal fragrances are, at least on my skin, for me, they last like all day. As I'm falling asleep, I'll still get whiffs of it <laughs> by the end of the day. So definitely get a fragrance that you like because it will stick with you for a long time. But anyway, let's move on to the makeup. And this all came packaged like beautifully with that insulated paper and there was like bubble wrap on the bottom. And I ordered this off of the actual Byredo site, but I do know that this is available at some other retailers. I'll leave links to all of it down below my description box, but let's go ahead and open this up so wrapped beautifully there's a little sticker here and here are all of the products oh oh my god they did not you guys are not going to believe this so they're like little styrofoam pieces in here which actually doesn't even feel like styrofoam it feels different two pieces and they're shaped like the bee stop it that is the most amazing packaging i have seen yet that is so cool i think i'm going to glue them onto like black poster board or something and hang that up. All right, oh, okay, so they've included two perfume samples, Lil Fleur and Bal d'Afrique. So Byredo, I believe, is a Swedish brand, and Ben Gorman. Editing Michelle here, uh, apologies, I'm a total jackass. So the founder of Byredo, his name is Ben Gorham, G-O-R-H-A-M, not Gorm Gorman, or whatever I'm saying in the video, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Who is the creator of Byredo. He teamed up with Isamaya French. I don't know if I'm completely slaughtering her name, but she is an artist and they created this makeup line. So this card was included in the box and they're talking about the, the their universal product, which is the color stick. And it's something you can use on like the face, eyes and lips. There's 16 shades and they say intuition and creativity are key for the wearer. Instinctively choosing where best to apply the colors, whether alone 
or in tandem, all are complementary. The color stick comes and finishes aligned to corresponding shades, encompassing lightweight dewy, matte and creamy textures suitable for cheeks, eyes, and lips. So I got three of the universal sticks. I got three of their lipsticks and then I got their mascara. The universal stick comes in this packaging and all the labeling looks like their perfume. So if you've ever purchased any of their perfume, it's sort of the same idea, very, very clean and minimal and I absolutely love it. Here is the box that the mascara comes in and then here is the box that the lipstick comes in. Ooh, this is heavy. So let me open all of this up and we will dig into the universal sticks first. All right, so here are the three universal sticks that I purchased, Ancient, Great Sands, and Vienna. So the packaging slides out, which is really nice. And these are all housed in like chrome finished packaging and I'm trying to see, it's very, very faint, but it says like Byredo there in white. Can you guys see that? And then over here it has what it is, and then the shade is on the bottom on a sticker. Oh, and these are magnetized. Oh, cool. So here is Ancient. So here is Ancient. Ooh, that's beautiful. It's like a brownish red. Let me go ahead and swatch it. Ooh, yes, I may need to try that everywhere everywhere i feel like eyes lips and cheeks that could work out okay so that is the first color the second color i got great sands looks like this more of a nude and there's nowhere on the box or the color stick to let you know like what kind of finish it is ancient has like a subtle metallic finish let me go ahead and swatch great sands Ooh, so this is like balmy and it has like a little bit of shimmer in there. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Ooh, I want to try that all over too. Eyes, lips, and cheeks. And then lastly, ooh, we have Vienna. And Vienna just looks like a balm. Ooh, that could be very interesting. Again, on the eyes, lips, and cheeks. Okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and I think I'm most curious about Great Sands, this nude one, of course, um, but I just really like the finish of it. So I have foundation and concealer down. I don't have any powder or anything down. I get the feeling these would work over powder if you kind of tap them on, but I did want to try them first without any powder down. So I'm going to go ahead and use sand on my lips. Ooh, that's nice. It has a really subtle metallic sheen so there's just like a slight frost to it and there are some glittery bits in there but it doesn't bother me not like in the tom ford balm frost where it just felt like i had like four glitter bits on my lips it looked like a mistake there's definitely more in this i see like a light kind of like smattering of the little glitter bits as opposed to just kind of like chunky glitter pieces on my lips yeah i feel like this is a much more like successful execution of glitter in my lipstick Oh, it's really pretty. Um, I'm gonna use this as like blush, swipe it on and tap it out. Ooh, ooh, that is really cool. And it's so weird. I don't generally like uh, micro glitters in my blush, but for some reason when it's in like stick form, that doesn't bother me quite as much. I think that's actually really pretty. So, so far it is remaining kind of a little like tacky on my cheeks. So we'll see, we'll see if that dries down. I think also, you know, maybe I would apply some powder on top. I think also applying powder underneath helps a lot because the powder just kind of soaks in a bit of the balm. But I think just over foundation, it does feel a little bit tacky. But so far in terms of like color and finish wise, I love this Great Sands shade. This is gorgeous. And then in terms of eyes, I guess I'll just go ahead and swipe. Let's just see what happens here. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of loving this. There is a thickness to it. There is like a balmy thickness to it. So I definitely feel it on my lid and it is definitely very tacky on my lid. I will definitely leave a pinned comment down below letting you know how this wore. I think, you know, when you put something tacky and kind of emollient on your lids, there definitely is the risk that it's going to crease, that it's going to migrate, that it's just gonna fade in a very strange way. So I will definitely let you know, but we can always play around with powder too. See if we can just kind of set that down. But isn't that 
cool. That's really pretty. Next, I want to try Ancient, which is the deeper shade, this shade right here. And I'm going to take off Great Sands for my lips. I definitely want to try Ancient on my lips. This is definitely not as balmy as the Great Sands. I don't know if I like this one on my lips. It feels a little like, like I can't spread it easily. It feels a little dry. And I think the finish, I mean, I generally like metallic frosty finishes, but for some reason, I think because the texture of this, I feel like it's really emphasizing like the creases in my lips. I'm sure you guys can see that. I don't like this one on the lips. I'm actually gonna look on the website and just see if the site tells me what kind of finishes these are because that'll give us a better idea, at least for me, like which finishes I like on my lips, on my face or whatever, and which ones I don't. So I'm on the Byredo site. It doesn't really tell you just straight out this is a shimmer, this is a metallic, this is a matte or anything. It tells you in the description. So under the description for Ancient, which is the one I have on my lips, it says that this is a shimmery, warm, dark brown, which it is, a dry cream stick to deepen the tones on eyes and lips or bronze the cheeks. So yeah, it definitely feels like a little bit on the drier side. And in contrast, uh, for the Great Sands description, it says it's a nude brown with shimmers, true, a dewy cream stick to highlight the eyes, lips, or cheeks. So there definitely is a difference in formulas. I do not like the way this feels on my lips, so I'm gonna take this off. I feel like it's just kind of drying up slowly as I'm sitting here. All right, and I'm just doing like a cheek check on the Great Sands. So yeah, this is still tacky. So I feel like because Ancient is drier, I would probably like this on the face a little bit better than the dewier ones because then I wouldn't have to, I don't know, worry about it and add powder on top or add powder underneath or it wouldn't be a concern for me. So I am curious how this Ancient is going to work kind of as a bronzer. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Zoeva 110 face brush and I'm just gonna run it across here. I'm afraid to just swipe. I feel like it's going to be a little bit too deep. So I just have a little bit on the brush and I'm just gonna pounce and kind of blend that out. It does kind of create a shadow. I think it's actually working better as a contour for me than bronze. I feel like on my cheek, it definitely has, even though it is a warm brown, I feel like it cools down a little bit right here. I don't see a lot of warmth going on, probably because there's a lot of red in here versus like orange. I do kind of like that as contour. I'm gonna add some over here. Yeah, I think that actually works great as a contour. Let me um, actually feel it on my cheeks and see if there's any tackiness. Well, definitely a lot less than the Great Sands. Yeah, I think that is something I could live with on my cheeks, like as is. All right, very cool. And then let me try this on my eyes. Um, I guess I'll try it over here <laughs> since I have Great Sands all over. So I'm just gonna swipe it right along my lash line here. Maybe bring it out a little. I'm gonna use my Sonya G Worker 2 brush. Oh, that blends out nicely. And I feel like I can continue to work with it. You know, like it doesn't set down where I'm like, it doesn't set down completely where I end up not being able to move the product at all. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more on my Worker 2 and deepen up my lash line here. I like that a lot. I like these drier cream sticks for the eyes. I like these drier cream sticks for the eyes. I don't think that they're transfer proof because I can kind of continue to blend them out. But if I had to guess, I don't think these would have creasing or, you know, like moving issues the way this Great Sands one, this really balmy one may have. Um, so next I'm gonna try Vienna and let me look how they describe Vienna on here. So Vienna is a very transparent gold and it is a dewy cream stick. So this one is just like the Great Sands, but it doesn't have shimmery bits in there. Here is Vienna. And I do think this will be great on my lips. So I'm just gonna throw this on. This reminds me of one of my favorite Tom Ford lipsticks, which is now discontinued because they keep doing that with their best lipstick shades. I think it was Nudite. 
which I'm, I'm sure I'm slaughtering the name, but oh, I love it. This will probably make a nice highlighter too. So I'm just going to swipe this, yeah, on this cheek. So I have the blush, the Great Sands here, and the Ancient. I have Ancient here, but I have nothing on my cheeks here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and swipe that on. See how that works, this highlight. Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. It's like one of those balmy highlights where the formula itself has like a little bit of a sheen to it, but then it has like this frostiness in there too. So it's subtle. Oh, but I like that. And then as for eyes, I don't know if this is gonna do much. I'm just gonna sweep this maybe over Ancient. I mean, maybe if you want like a subtle kind of eye look versus the Great Sands, which has like the shimmery kind of like micro glittery bits in here, at least this one just has like a gold sheen. Oh wow, these two like blended into one another really nicely. So I have the Ancient and then I have the Vienna up there. Wow, that's pretty. Ooh, I like that a lot. Okay, I'm looking a little split personality here. So let me try and even things out. I'm going to add a little bit of the Great Sands here, just to kind of add it to the blush area. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of this to this eye here. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of Ancient to this eye. See how that sits on top of the Great Sands. I'm actually surprised at how well these sticks are working together because, you know, like too many cream products, like one on top of the other, sometimes they just, they just don't really like gel that well together. All right, I'm gonna actually take this uh, worker too, just because I have it in my hand. I'm gonna pick up some of the Ancient. I'm gonna put a little bit here on my cheeks, just to give me a little bit, a little bit more. The Great Sands is a little bit light. And because it's so reflective, it looks even lighter than it is. And I like a little bit more on my cheeks here, at least on the apples of my cheeks here. So let's move over to the mascara. So I'm gonna add a little bit of my own eyeliner. I did not purchase the Byredo eyeliner. They have one available. I think it's like a, is it a liquid liner? Let me look. Yes, it's a liquid eyeliner. It's called Technical Black. And I don't know, I'm not that interested in liquid eyeliners. So anyway, I passed on that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some eyeliner and I'll be back to apply the Byredo mascara. I just applied some eyeliner. I just curled my lashes and we are ready for the Space Black Mascara. I'm not gonna lie. I am very excited to see what this packaging looks like. So, ooh, okay. It is bright red and it has a curved tip. Here it is, ooh. It has a fairly smallish kind of wand and it has plastic bristles that are fairly short. Let's see. There's definitely a, a scent to this mascara. It definitely doesn't apply that much product down. And because it doesn't apply that much product down, I'm actually having a hard time kind of figuring out if this is like a wetter formula, a drier formula. I mean, it may not make a difference, right? If it's just going on nicely and doing what it needs to do. It makes them very like fluttery looking. So mascara, no mascara. Interesting. I do think this is a drier formula. Yeah, it's making them look very like fluttery, but I don't think it's really lengthening. It's definitely not separating, but because I think this formula is dry, I don't feel like it's very clumpy either. Interesting. And again, definitely check out my pinned comment for how this mascara is gonna wear. I do wonder if it's going to flake. Only time will tell. All right, there it is applied. I mean, it definitely, definitely makes my lashes look better <laughs> for sure, but I like that kind of fluffy effect. Let's move on to lipstick. So I did purchase three of the lipsticks. So here are the three shades that I purchased, Earth Dust, La Flame, and Worshipper. So again, the packaging slides out, and oh, there is a dust cover on the lipsticks. Ooh, <gasps> these are so cool. So we have a chrome and then like a gold finish there, and it is slightly curved, not quite as much as the mascara, but slightly curved. I love it. I love this. I think it's so cool. It just reminds me of like a Dali painting. And oh, there's like a B engraved at the tip there, which unfortunately will be gone as soon as I swatch this. Ooh, this is a pretty color. And this is a satin finish. So there is earth dust. 
Ooh, nice. Let me wipe off this Vienna that's on my lips. And I'm gonna apply the Earth Dust. Feels nice. There's like a certain thickness to the formula. It's almost like it's uh, like balmy. I love this color. Great, great nude. I would say it's pretty much a neutral. I don't think it's very warm or cool. All right, let me take this off and we'll move on to La Flame. Same packaging, and I believe La Flame is matte. Yes, this is a matte shade, and I really wasn't going to get it because, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of matte lipsticks, but I love this color so, so much. Just like a burnt red orange that I just had to get it. So there is La Flame. There is La Flame. Oh my God. Do, oh, I love, you guys know, I love this color. This is so cool. It's a red orange, but it definitely is leaning into the orange, but it's not as orange as like the Hermes orange, which is just straight up orange. This definitely has a little bit more red in there. I love this color, I love it. It definitely does not feel as moisturizing as the satin one, of course. It doesn't feel dry, not like when I put that ancient color stick on, like that one was kind of like an immediate, like my lips just kind of started puckering. Like you don't see the wrinkles in my lips. It's not like this like drying effect. Feels fine. Yeah, it does not feel bad at all. This is one of those colors I feel like I can wear all year round. I feel like when I put it on in the fall, I'm like, oh, it's so autumnal. And then when I put it on in the winter time, I'm like, oh, it's so festive. And then when I put it on in the spring or the summer, I'm like, oh, this looks so great with like a bronze. It's such a great, like bright summery color. I just feel like this is one of those colors that I personally can wear like all year round. I just love it. But I'm gonna take it off right now and we're gonna move on to the next shade. So the last shade I got is Worship Her and I Oh, wow, I think I thought this was a satin, but this is actually a matte as well. It's a good thing I like the formula. Ooh, so this is a deep brown. These three colors I feel like are always the same colors that I get whenever there's like a new lipstick range that's released. I always get the nude, I always get like a deep ready brown, and then I try and get like a bright, <laughs> bright reddish orange color. Oh God, well, at least I, I like what I like, right? Okay, that is a terrible application of lipstick, but I really do like this color. It's very vampy. And this is one of those colors that I feel definitely much more comfortable wearing in the fall, winter versus the spring, summer. Personal preferences, <laughs> you can wear whatever you want anytime, anytime you want, but I like this for the fall, winter. All right, so those are all seven of the products that I purchased from this new Byredo makeup launch. I am, well, you you know, you guys know, I'm a product junkie. I love trying out new stuff and I really like those color sticks. I think I just have to figure out like how to wear them and what I like for wear the most, but I love that Great Sand and Vienna, the two lighter shades on my lips. They're so, so gorgeous and I love the ancient on my eyes and my cheeks and all three of the lip colors that I got are gorgeous. I love the shades. The description on the site is very accurate because I think I was deciding between a few of the deeper shades and some of them had a little bit more purple in there, which I don't mind, but I kind of like when they're more of like a burnt brown red a little bit more and I could tell by their description. And don't forget to check down below uh, for my pinned comment to let you know how all of these things wore. And do not forget to check out Vicky J, Mo Makeup Mo Beauty and Kelsey Brianna J. They have become dear, dear friends to me here on YouTube. I absolutely love them. I will have links to their channels down below in the description box. Let them know that I sent you over there. Tell them I said hi. And if you're here from their channel, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. And let me know your thoughts on this whole new makeup line from Byredo down below in the description box. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video.